From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. These are your top stories. I'm Kara Sundlin. For the first time in two years, Governor Lamont gave his annual State of the State address in person. The governor's message today was positive, saying the state is in better shape than it was three years ago. He also pitched a plan to reduce taxes. This is an election year, and Governor Lamont is running for re-election in November. As lawmakers return to the Capitol, protesters have been gathering as well. Several different groups are there now, including a group who wants to see the school mask mandate and now despite the governor's plan to have it expire on February 28th. A group of eight kids, along with some psychologists, spoke out against the mandate, saying they feel cut off from classmates in school and that masks are hurting their mental health. Personally, I would like to see that it is a personal choice whether or not a student's going to be masked with, you know, them and their family and their personal health care provider. Some other protests at the Capitol, ACLU Connecticut organized a protest against solitary confinement and isolation in prisons. We'll have much more on all of the protests going on outside of the Capitol on Eyewitness News starting at 4. And demolition has started on a new London high-rise apartment complex over on Crystal Avenue. The Thames River apartments are being torn down. People who live there say the apartments are run down and that they were infested with rodents. Demolition is expected to wrap up by the end of the year. The state's top prosecutor could be removed from office after a controversy over hiring practices. A special commission is expected to meet to talk about a federal corruption investigation centered around the chief state's attorney, Richard Colangelo. He's accused of hiring the daughter of the state's deputy budget secretary while trying to get raises for himself and his staff. Colangelo is denying that he did anything wrong. We're going to stick with those clear skies for the rest of today. Temperatures in the lower 40s, and we'll see some more mild conditions for tomorrow as well. But for tomorrow, we are going to add some cloud cover and a little bit of a breeze, but it'll be slightly warmer than today. So we'll call it a beautiful day on Thursday, seeing a good amount of sun at times in the afternoon. And a couple of lucky folks out there will get a quick rain shower, no big deal. Maybe a couple of little snow showers up in the northwest hills. And once we get to Friday, we're still looking at 40s, near record setting temperatures on Saturday. Temperatures crash on Sunday, and it's likely we'll see some light snow between Sunday and Monday, but no big storm system.